So my name is Antoinette. Uh, my right question is, why is depression so common in society? Uh, I'm gonna go back to Okay, um, so you like, you imagine yourself, um, well obviously you go to school downtown and you see people as they're walking by and you see like a few people they're smiling at you and you know, you're just thinking, oh, they're having like a good day or something, or uh, they're having, like, their life is just so perfect, and they live like a better life than anybody else, but in reality, um, deep down inside, they're going through something, and they're smiling to hide the fact that they're going through something. Uh, so, my personal story is, um, back in sophomore year, um, uh, before that, I was experiencing depression, but in my sophomore year, I experienced the most depression. Um, my sophomore year, coming into uh, the first day, I didn't go to school on the first day um, because I had to attend a funeral, and it was my grandpa's funeral, and that's when I uh, experienced depression. Um, so, you know, at that time, I was really depressed because um, I lost my grandpa and it was he was really special to me and he was like another father figure and losing someone important just it just made me you know felt like a lot of it just bring like a lot of sadness and everything into me and um, at that time I didn't feel like doing anything um, I didn't feel like going to school the second day. Uh, I didn't feel like um, I didn't feel like doing any homework. Uh, I basically gave up um, at the time, and um, uh, I had told you know some friends, and they figured it out on Facebook, and they saw it and everything, and um, they were just like, "Are are you okay?" and everything, and everything's gonna be fine and you know just you know don't do anything you know I wouldn't do and um, you know I just told him you know I'm fine but really I wasn't um, at that time you know I went to go talk to my psychologist and um, she told me you know we talked about it and she told me how I felt about it and everything and I told her how you know how he passed and how it affected me. And she told me, you know, um, that you felt like, you know, that you felt like, you know, committing suicide or whatever. And uh, I lied and said no. Um, but I went, you know, I went home after talking to her. I went home and, you know, I actually did thought about committing suicide. And um, it was, it was a very hard thing to do. Uh, you know, I just, I told myself, like, you know, what's the point of trying now if I lost someone so special to me and, you know, I shouldn't even be, I shouldn't even be here anymore, you know, I should be up there with him. And I just thought about, like, killing myself that night. But then, you know, something just hit me and told me and my grandma came to me and she, she told me that, you know, everything's going to be okay, you know. I know how close he was to you and everything. We just sat down and talked about it. And um, after talking to her about um, the situation with my grandpa and everything, you know, going through the funeral and stuff like that, um, you know, I was like, oh, okay. So, you know, not only, you know, am I doing it for him, but, you know, I also got other family members I got to do it for. And so, you know, I just came back to school. Um, there were some problems. I was still depressed, but, you know, I came back to school um, ready to grind back again and not give up because I know that I still have a future and I still have goals to accomplish. Uh, so, um, depression. Depression is uh, a mood disorder causing sadness and a loss of interest, a mental condition characterized by feelings and lack of energy, so that's what I was feeling at the time.
Uh, so I did research and I found out that depression is mostly caused in, caused in high school and college students and how um, college and high school students are affected by depression. Um, uh, second research was um, they, a research researcher feels like that depression is like a mental disease. It's like uh, like a like a mental illness. You can't. It's not easy to uh, get rid of it. It takes time to get rid of it, and that's what she was talking about. So, uh, so my solution. Um, after my health question is, how can we manage depression? So after talking to two um, psychologists, they gave me some solutions on how to deal with depression if I ever become depressed again and what should I do instead of thinking about suicide. Um, Joanna, my first interviewer, she told me how like she likes to go on bike rides, um, uh, read, uh, listen to music and stuff. I don't like bike riding and reading, so <laughs> that's not gonna help me. Um, but I do like listening to music, and I do like um, doing other things that satisfy me whenever I'm sad. Lorna, uh, she's the same way, but hers is a little more fun. Um, she does anything else, like she likes to talk. To some some people like her friends, her mom, uh, parents, basically her grandparents, um, and also listen to music. Uh, my solution after um, dealing with depression and stuff, and um, getting advice and stuff, um, I like to listen to music. Um, I like to do other things like go out and stuff. You know, things to keep my mind off the effect that. I am depressed and, you know, to not think about it so much. And so my advice for anybody, if you ever experienced depression, suicide is not the best way to handle that. Um, I, learned, I learned that the hard way. Um, and if you ever feel depressed, talk to somebody, a friend, teacher, someone you're close to, or do something that satisfies you. And stuff so that you won't think about harming yourself or harming 